Um, so okay. say, um, hey everyone, uh, welcome to Welk Up and <laughs> hey everyone, really? welcome. <laughs> That's really what you want to say? <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to Wake Up and Get Real with Kelly Catron and Justine Bateman. Today, our guest is the awesome Willie Garson, star of Sex and the City 1 and 2, and the series Sex and the City, and the series White Collar, and should I go on? I mean, it's endless. And the star of the TV set, the movie I was in, with him. Yes, and, and one of my first jobs was uh, Walter, the nerd, in uh, your class in Family Ties, uh, close to 30 years ago. I know, <laughs> it was 30 years ago, right? So funny. <laughs> and you did, you did a lot of crossword puzzles then and now, I would imagine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Willie, tell me what you've been thinking about lately. What are, you, what are you into? What do you think people should wake up and get real about? Well, I, I mean, just now, right now, because I'm doing a lot of press uh, for the for the picture, um, and now that I'm kind of a relatively new parent, the thing I am obsessed with is just how people should be taking care of each other. Yeah. That's my thing right now. It's like, just take care of each other. Tell me how you're I, seeing that not played out. Um. Oh, man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> is it endless? It's endless. Homeless people, uh, people cutting each other off, people cutting each other online, people rushing, people not, you know, you ask someone how they're doing, no one, no one says it back to you. <laughs> um, people, you know, I, I'm in New York a lot, and it's like, if you, if you have a child, it's, you might as well be Hitler. Like, people look at you like, like, ew, like, what are you doing with that child? I mean, it's, Why? Like, it's, 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 uh, it's becomes an inconvenience for them or something? That you've got yeah, to everything. To, everything seems to be everything that has to do with other people seems to be an inconvenience for everyone else. Hey, Willie, what do and you think? I, about I, I, used to, I don't want to live on that planet. What <laughs> That's do you think my about this trend I've seen? Well, for the last few years, when you're in a grocery store and somebody mm -hmm. is going to leave their cart to go get something a little bit further down the aisle, and they'll leave it right in the middle of the of the aisle instead of pushing it to the side. Have you noticed that? Well, Yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> I'll take it even further in New York with the stopping to have your conversation right in the doorway. Yeah. It's like, dude, Why do you think this, is a, this is a place of business and like, people have to come in and out. Wait, now, like, Willie, you're a, you're a great study of character. Now, you tell me, what do you think is, why do you think people do that? What do you think is going on in the hair? What's their motivation there for doing that? Well, I'll tell you, the motivation is right now because of the economy and everything that we've been through as a country. I think people are just like, like other people are an afterthought. So do, right they, do you think they're making the decision like, fuck you, I'm going to no. have a conversation in a doorway? No, no. They're, my, they're not making any, any decision about anything other than themselves. Okay. Um, and and that, that's my big battle cry right now is just... You know, I've always said, you know, when you're a kid, I mean, you're an actress, like, you know, when you're a kid and you, you dream of like, oh, when I win my Oscar, I'm going to make my speech. And it's always been my thing is like, just to tell people to take care of each other. <laughs> it really doesn't take that much 